Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about our new topic that is called locators in WebDriver IO. What are the locators which is supporting? Basically, it will support for standard version that is CSS selector as well as XPath. These are the two things it will support mandatory things. Okay, and additionally it will support for tag name. It will support for tag name as well. And also we can able to use for a uh, link text link text these are the four locators it will support okay one by one we'll see that okay in the basic thing like uh, most of the time we can get some question mark how then id and name will be accepted for css selector when you using for css selector when you have the id to indication of the id uh, finding we are going to ask for hash symbol Okay, the name attribute purpose to square basis and name and we are going to for attribute and attribute value. This is the cases we are using and also class name we are identified by using the class dot and we are providing. Okay, this is the way we are going to using this remaining attributes and any other attribute if you want to identify by using the X path, we can able to use a double forward slash and tag name and then we can able to use the other rate attribute equal to attribute value this is the one we are going to use for x path okay for link text purpose we are going to using for different format that is called equal symbol once you use the equal symbol and if you are providing for the link text which is the link text having the value that value we need to provide then it will identify that particular element then we can able to use it okay this is the simplest way of identification about the locators how one by one we'll see achieving by using our web driver IO. First, we need to create the suit and the suit we can able to mention for a sample locators. And I'm going to create the function. There are two ways we can create the function. And I'm going to use for one or uh, both the ways. Okay. The function, normal function creation like this. And also it, it is basically a test case. Describe is basically a suit. Okay, it's both it will come out under mocho. Okay, here again I'm going to use for demo locators and the function another type is two braces less than symbol and like this we are can able to create it. Okay, our application basically async applications due to that we can able to use for async because then only we can able to use it and the latest version is using for async. Okay, and then we can able to use for browser. Browser, it will give you some uh, some different uh, things, but don't take anything. Just escape, click on escape button in your uh, keyboard. Okay, then here you can able to use for dot URL which URL we are going to automate that particular URL. This is the URL I'm going to take it and pasting here and then I'm going to use for some waiting, some wait technique, uh, some waiting, some URL purpose. Just I'm going to use for browser a dot pass and I can able to use for thousand one second waiting time and again I'm going to use for dollar to identify this particular element for this is basically ID and the name it is presented I'm going to take here and single dollar single dollar indication for uh, single web element identification if you provide for double dollar it is a list of values we can able to two ways without providing a browser name and we can able to specify that value or we can able to second one we can able to see that that also I'll show you and here I can able to specify any kind of value this uh, basic uh, name of that particular value that's why I'm going to specify that so, and I, I'll wait for some time to see whether that particular element whether it is entered or not okay and I'm going to mention here now and I'm just I'm going to run my spec.
sorry uh, because this is also a weight right and it is weighted a weight now we can see because it is showing the pass but it is not enter any value because it is went for very fast that's why it is not able, now you can able to see that particular element it is entered the value inside that okay now even you can able to take the name attribute and i can able to use for name and i can able to use for double quotation for the name attribute this is a name attribute purpose okay one more time i'm running Now see the value is entered now also now also and I'm going to take for X path. Now I'm going to take for X path that is input box. I'm going to take the input and inside that at the red symbol and name attribute and equal to value of that particular attribute value, which I mentioned in here, right? The similar format of tag name and attribute and attribute value. That is a one double forward slash and input tag name and attribute name uh, attribute and attribute value okay this is the case i'm going to specify okay this is a x path creation now see still it is provided for name of that okay and now i'll take it for another one that is called this particular element that is a link link by default it will take as a a or link both the cases is a hyperlinks okay and i'm going to take for this value okay this value and i'll click once i click it will open for another tab okay this is the one it is going to do it and for here again i'm going to use it on more line await and single dollar and i'm going to specify a single value and link text purpose we are going to use for hash symbol sorry equal symbol okay and then we are going to specify for value of that and i'm going to mention for click to see that particular element whether it is able to click or not okay See, another tab is opened. Link text also uh, we can able to click it. Only I'm not going to explain for the tag name. Tag name I'll explain the later video session where it is comes the topic. That moment I'll show you remaining things I'm showed here. Okay. ID we saw and name we can XPath and CSS selector all the combinations and then link text also we saw about it. Right. This all the things we can able to use the locators to identify for the web element and we can able to click it. Okay, and next video session we'll see for browser comments under how it will work under. Okay, thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.